Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aries. This is going to be for your September 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what karma they are currently facing. Uh, so you can apply this to someone that you're already dealing with, was dealing with. We're going to see how this person did you dirty. And then we'll finish off the read to see what karma this person is currently facing or will face moving forward. Apply this to your own unique, uh, unique situation. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. It could be karma that you're cycling through. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective, uh, collective messages for the collective Aries people. Not tapping into uh, one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So, uh, also, uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, I do post readings on there too. And I also do lives on my Instagram page since I have enough following on, on there. I, I can't do that on my uh, TikTok yet. So uh, tell me about um, the person that Aries is dealing with, was dealing with. How did this person do Aries dirty? How did this person do Aries dirty for September 2023? For Aries, for Aries. We have a ton of cups. Okay, seems like this person had it all here with you. Happiness, fulfillment here. But I don't know. I feel like this person got bored. Four cups. This person got bored and maybe went towards a third party because it seems like this, this person broke your heart. Whatever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that acted very foolishly. Yeah, this person acted very foolishly. This person didn't think about how they could have hurt you here. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. We have Judgment. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's definitely facing their judgment, facing their karma. They really, truly are. Uh, because, I, you know, if this person carries themselves this way, this person is behaving this way, that is their karma. Okay, that is their karma here. Yeah, it seems like they acted very foolishly here. Uh, 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 yeah, it seems like you guys were in perhaps like the Ten of Cups here. It was a perfect relationship. Uh, and I feel like this just came out of nowhere. This might have been a complete surprise to you. The Fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and Judgments. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. The Star, Aquarius energy. I mean, this was a death. This definitely... This connection was a huge blessing, especially not just for you, but for that person that was with you. But it seemed like they walked away from you. Yeah, they walked away from their blessings. The star card, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the three of swords. Wow. Nine of swords. One of the things I'm getting here is that if this person was dealing with other, other parties here, this has been going on for a long time. This has been going on for a long time. We have the Three of Wands. Seems like this person had a wandering eye. Yeah, this connection definitely ended here. With the Nine of Pentacles, Aries, regarding the situation, you're doing really well on your own. Because you're doing so well on your own, because you reclaimed your power here, you're no longer handing your power away to this individual and that is also this person's karma too let's see what karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward i mean this person's already living it and by you also not reacting to this person that is their karma also because you're no longer speaking to them queen of wands and the six of cups Seems like this, I mean, also this person's karma is that they're missing you. And like I said, you're not speaking to them. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Six of Cups. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ace of Cups. Seems like this person thought that they fell in love with a third party. But I feel like 
the whole time that this person was with another party, they they missed you. They 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 still loved you. I mean, this is like craziness that they're creating for themselves. It's self-inflicted. Because they didn't act on emotion here, temperance and the lovers. I mean, it could be a situation that this person stepped into a horrible relationship and they're missing the peaceful safety of the relationship with you. The lovers, Gemini energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands, Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're not even pissed about the situation either. Oh, you might have been pissed initially, but Aries, I feel like you're over it. I mean, it could be a situation that this person's like angry that you are no longer communicating with them. They could be jealous, jealous that you're, you're moving on towards new love. This person's definitely facing their karma here. This person's definitely facing their karma. You know, the, this person is in this energy of facing themselves, facing their shadow side here. And this person is having a tough time facing that dark side. Instead of actually dealing with it and working with it, this person's running from it. This person's running from it. Temperance, Sagittarius, energy, and the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the lovers here? In the Eight of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you let this person go for your own peace of mind. You moved on so that you don't have to deal with the craziness that this person has created here. Or the environment that this person has created here, the Tower and the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is not a very honest individual. I mean, one of the things I'm getting is that I, perhaps, you know, this person is a lot of fun. This person's a great time. But I feel like you saw some red flags that you might have ignored, and then over time you couldn't ignore it anymore. But it seems like whoever this is, this person feels like a fool, but they would never admit it. You know, they might be you know regretful but i feel like this person will never truly give you like a genuine and sincere apology yeah so aries i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye